stream title. Well, you know, this goes out to all you guys who have been complaining about, oh, you know, the rolling boxes is so slow. Slow mundane. Why don't you, like, do some real juice content? Here you go. Most mobs per second killed in the whole game. Right here. Literally went from rolling boxes to killing the highest number of monsters per second that you can basically possibly do in the game. What's up, everybody? Let's get to it. This is Snoo, and today I'm going to be leveling to level 100, finally. <laughs> As you can see, I am making some progress. Yeah, just making sure I could see the bar there on the bottom. And I'm level 99. So I've been running this box opening strat in Delirium. It is terribly unsafe mapping. Probably the least sensible strategy to try to level to 100 with but i've been really stubborn and enjoying that strat so much i just can't stop doing it so i'm slowly very slowly uh creeping up to level 100 and who knows i might lose it all again before the end so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna stop and do five ways nope not gonna do five ways i don't want to mess with that i don't want it's so boring it's a lot of currency I uh, could do Chayula Rotos. Nope, not going to do that. I'm going to do it myself. I got a character that can totally smash maps anyway. And I want to bring you a cool video showcasing some wicked fast solo leveling. Uh, full disclaimer, this character is made for mapping. And it, I guess it's technically a little bit weaker than a Deadeye for exactly what I'm trying to do. But it's going to utterly smash uh, the maps in, in like no time flat. It's going to be a lot of fun for uh, less than an hour because in less than an hour i'm gonna be level 100 with 85 million 872 thousand xp remaining so i'm gonna be tracking the xp per hour and per map and be tracking kills per hour and per map and i suppose i'll track currency just because it's easy to do but i'm not actually farming currency really so that's a little intro for you yeah level 99 almost 100 i'm gonna finish it out and uh i'm not the first pro oh actually hold on Okay, just before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to Anime Princess, who apparently made a strat and a video on this basically like two weeks ago. Uh, I was just kind of figuring out things for myself, and then, yeah, figured I'd go ahead and check the YouTube, see if something like this already existed. It did. We had the Shrine strat last league with Shrine and Breach, and we're basically doing the same thing, even though they pulled the ripcord on that particular shrine, where you go to pick up all the shrines at once, and then clear the maps. Now we're just going to get... An evolving shrine, which is a strat that's been floating around for like scarab farming and stuff. And let me show you what this does. This shrine here, Domination Scarab of Evolution, uh, will give me the ability to respawn monsters and upgrade them in tier. From normal to magic, magic to rare, and rare to unique. Nope, not that one, actually, not that one. So... You can read that in the wiki. I'm not going to open that up on here, uh, but I will link Anime Princess's video down below because uh, clearly that was a pretty well made video. I did watch it and uh, definitely taking some inspiration from that. I don't believe he used Beyond Scarab of Invasion though, and he didn't use Delirium. So there's a couple things that I'm doing that he didn't do. And it, uh, I did a little bit of tinkering around testing with this, proved to be a little better, I think, uh, if your system can handle it. Anyway, if your build can handle it. <laughs> Let's get to the Atlas to start. I do have a map scribed over. Look, I don't care about loot. I'm not really going for that. I'm not even doing like within the grass. I'm not going Chayula here. So I could kind of mix and match the strat. I was already doing a breach farm earlier this league. People did tell me it was decent for leveling, but this is obviously going to be a lot better uh, if the primary focus is leveling. Every single effect of modifier to the maps increase has been taken. Here and we're going to be forcing Delirium Mirrors. We're going to be forcing Beyond. I think these are the two very flexible points here that I don't really need. But uh, we'll be killing uh, so many Beyond monsters. It's crazy. So I'm going to leave those in. And then have to take Shrines for this one. Focusing on Breach. Not with the hands or the bosses or anything. Just on monsters. The Breach spawn and collapse rate. And a little bit of Eater of Worlds. Uh, in case I get some currencies through that. So really the only place I'm technically... Target farming currency is tainy currency and then like eldritch currencies, I guess, would be technically the only places. So that's a pretty simple atlas for you there. I got a bunch of chaos orbs here to cover the cost of purchasing these maps off TFT. Yeah, I purchased these off TFT Regex, so they were uh, 15 chaos apiece. It's going to be a few chaos 
to put breach on the Kirk bench. And then we got a couple extra breach scarabs. We do want to slam a bunch of breaches in. And I'm going to be doing Breach Scarab of Resonant Cascade. It's going to force them to open and close very quickly. This makes this strat so far. I mean, this is some... The amount of monsters killed per map, per minute, is probably the highest I've ever seen on this strat. It's actually just nuts. Uh, honestly, the computer, I don't know if it's going to take it. Uh, and then I mentioned, of course, Domination Scarab of Evolution. And this one is going to be uh, an interesting pairing, I think. If I'm not mistaken, theoretically, these two feed off each other in perpetuity. Potentially. Now, it's like a percent chance for the evolution to proc, so it, it will run out eventually. But basically what's going to happen here is I'm going to spawn a bunch of breach, breach mobs. A ton of them are going to be magic, especially because of the Atlas. And when I kill them, they're going to evolve into rare mobs. And when I kill the, the rare mobs, they're going to then spawn a bunch of beyond portals, which will spawn a bunch of normal beyond mobs, which will then evolve into magic, which I kill and then evolve into rare, which then spawn more beyond portals there's one more beyond mobs and i'm not really sure where the chain ends here but uh it does seem to be a very uh powerful combo these two scarabs together so we're gonna see what it looks like but anyway um yeah we'll get to the results at the end of the video you can fast forward if you want i'm gonna basically be uh, showing you a one map showcase and we'll cut from there i will just keep everything in dumb tab a Remember to put your map in the bottom slot. I still don't know if they ever fixed that. Oh yeah, and uh, make sure you have omens of amelioration. Just in case. It's always good to have those in. And then we're going to go for breach. Wherever it is. Where is it? Oh. Yeah, oh yeah, it's an expensive one. Three additional breaches. Kind of a big deal. Eater of worlds. Make sure you have the right atlas. Let's see how it goes. This is Jungle Valley. You can do it on a different map if you want. Oh, Legion Scarab is actually kind of good. Now those are the altars I want. So, I mean, I don't really care about this. Oh yeah, keeping time on this as well. The timer is going to be quite important. Here's the Evolving Shrine, so let's go ahead and hit it. And uh, one thing I forgot to do is put the Gull Helm on. And I'm kicking myself in the foot now because I should have an extra, like, 50 seconds on this shrine. So I messed up map one. Put a gull helm on. It's a good idea. That's okay, I'll still get a lot of value. I don't know if I'm going to do expedition. So the evolving shrine is procking off of beyond and off of breach. And I should probably... Maybe one last pass through there, and then I'm going to give up on that. Because I only got 40 seconds left on that. Going to be hitting a bunch of breaches at once. Oh, the Enlightened dropped. I think from that right there. Well, okay, we're making currency. Tainted Fusings are going to drop a bunch too. A bunch of Legion Scarabs. Wait, why am I getting all kinds of stars? Divine Beauty? Wow. I should have uh, put a Pilfered Scarab on this map, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm not planning to actually kill the boss. Uh, I'm trying to get in and out here really quick. I'm actually going to skip the expedition, but you can do it if you want. So yeah, uh, I did not do this map correctly because the Evolving Shrine has run out. And my goal is to trigger all the breaches under the effect of the Evolving Shrine. That's basically it. I will go ahead and loot, even though it's going to cost me some, you know, time or whatever. I think it is. You know, it, it's kind of silly to imagine that you're not looting anything. You have an Omega Strict loot filter down, so not much to pick up. And, you know, maybe some of these things are worth picking up or not. He's <laughs> still getting Chayula breaches, oh my god. Yeah, Tainted Fusing, definitely going to see a few of those. And it's been a little over two minutes now. But I'm going to count the time in between the maps as well. It's going to basically be uh, just holding that timer all the way through. No pause, nothing. All the way to level 100. 
That's a wrap. This is what I should have done. Let's try right here. Don't get me wrong. This helmet's good, but uh, it can't compare to what this is going to do for the Evolving Shrine. Should wear the Gull Helm, at the very least. Oh! I drop. I drop something. Autos. Dude, I'm actually printing currency. It's an abomination map, too. Oh, I got the uh, Gloom Shrine. Holy. This is going to be fun. Dude, now if only I had a Speed Shrine. Great. Look at that. This is gonna be hilarious. Man, I'm gonna have to pick up a bunch of Chayula splinters though. They gotta go up. Should you should see it move up in like in real time right now. This is too good. I wish this was the first map I did. Oh my god. I'm breaking the game. Lucky that didn't punish me too bad. Oh, we hit. Okay. 40 minutes. 39 minutes and 55 seconds. We get 85 million XP. So 85 million XP in uh, 40 minutes. Here you go, guys. Dropped a few things. Got lucky, I guess. Uh, Divine Orb, Valdo's Box, three Abomination Maps, one Divine Beauty, and an Enlightened Card from... Uh, the Eldritch Altars, of course, I had crazy pack size on the map, so of course I'm going to get a lot of Eldritch Altars. Didn't prioritize Quant that much, just going for the minion options. Definitely was going to drop a boatload of Tainted Currencies, so that's a little there. Some Scarabs, a couple Simulacrums. I forgot to grab the Simulacrums and uh, Delhi Orbs off the first map, you might have noticed. A few Exalted Orbs, a few maps, and it goes down from there, nothing too crazy. Ten Divines. There's a number here. I started with a three divine investment. It was only 40 minutes on the dot, basically. 39 chaos per map invested, leaving me about uh, seven, a little over seven divines ahead. And, you know, you could say maybe half of that, up to half of that is luck. Uh, so you would definitely come out ahead. I, I think I would definitely come out ahead no matter what on this farm. Uh, just killing that many monsters. Half a divine per map earned, net profit. Uh, 11 divines per hour is what that would be. Not a very great sample size for like trying to figure out div per hour, but you know, pretty clean cut. A lot of monsters in a short period of time can produce some pretty cool things. 8,224 monsters killed per map on average, 172,896 monsters per hour. And I had 85 million XP when I started this remaining to hit level 100 so it's pretty simple math there xp per maps a little over 6 million i was definitely hoping to at least hit that i know i, I was doing over 6 million if i didn't f mess up the maps at all never died once uh i did lose my evolving shrine early on like one map but other than that it was okay uh also lagged a little bit and failed a couple breaches but fine it's gonna happen 128 million 937 thousand 349 xp per hour if Everything came out of the way I think it is. So that's a pretty good number. Definitely uh, well over 100 mil per hour. And I think if I didn't loot anything and I just loaded the map to my inventory, I mean, I exit the map, go back in, exit the map, go back in, and that's all I did. Honestly, it's probably be 200 mil an hour. 
uh, even counting the hideout time because we'd just be in and out so fast, especially if I wasn't lagging or whatever. But as you can see, I think from some of the footage, the entire system gets a little bogged down when you get the evolving shrine and you're standing on top of like three breaches at once. <laughs> like firing arrows and who knows if anything's actually happening. I mean, that's evidence that you're killing an obscene amount of monsters in a short period of time, though the server can't handle it. Uh, and yeah, that definitely occurred. So I guess that's how you know this is a good strategy. The server can't handle it, more or less. And there we are. Here's everything in the dump tabs. Here is an extra passive point, level 100. Boom, done. Shorter video than most. Uh, the final thoughts is nothing much to say. I, I just recommend this strat definitely. If you are on your second character, if you if you got mere tier gear already, making your second or third character, if you're kind of like me and just fell behind, just didn't, you got you're way over geared for not being level 100 yet <laughs> just buckle down get those levels out of the way that was really fast this is definitely even better than my chayula farm and i don't think it's gonna make much less currency per time than that uh that evolving shrine is kind of fun too because again it does uh, become a little adventure to go go into that map find that evolving shrine, and then just do everything you can in two minutes gotta use the gall helm gotta use the gall helm though really should uh for this strat because, I mean, it even gives increased effect of that shrine. Getting the Gloom Shrine and or Speed Shrine is like heaven. Heaven in a bottle. When that happens. That didn't happen the first map, I think. Alright, so that's Monkey off my back. I'm done leveling now. I can go back to doing uh, my favorite strat in the game. <laughs> we'll definitely be coming out with a video on this build soon. I know a lot of people are requesting because I've gone... Mm, kind of well beyond the headhunter crit variant initially with things like nimbus progenesis the rare boots and all that stuff so gonna have to make a video on that soon so expect that maybe the next video anyway uh, uh good luck on your leveling adventures i hope it goes well for you you do this as a group i guess if it doesn't lag too bad uh but i for one don't want to be messing with chai larotas in five ways if i can help it so still looks like uh the leveling meta is not too bad this league maybe a little weaker than last league but not too bad not too bad